Good morning and welcome back. My name's Simon and in this video I'm paddling down the River Stour. We just left Sudbury or just leaving Sudbury. Dodging rowing boats at the moment. There's quite a few on the river today. Beautiful day. And I'm heading to Catawade near Manning Tree. It's about 40 kilometers. Which isn't too far. I'm going to do it over two days. I'm going to be staying near a place called Nayland halfway uh, where there's a campsite. I'm staying in a campsite tonight because um, I don't really know the area that well and uh, and looking at the map I couldn't find any bits of woodland where I could tuck myself away discreetly for the night. So uh, I decided to go for a campsite which wouldn't be my first choice. But I'm sure it'll be nice and I'm sure I'll appreciate a hot shower at the end of the first day anyway. So uh, yeah, it's a lovely bit of river. Quite wide here, busy at the moment, but I think once I get past the first portage, um, that'll at least that'll at least knock the rowers out of the equation. I'm going really lightweight on this trip. You may have seen my video I put out a couple of days ago on my um, tarp tent that I've got with me. That was to save a little bit of weight and space. Um, but everything I've brought with me is, I've kind of gone as light as I can really. And the reason for that is that there's loads of portages on this route, 10 of them, most of them today. Um, and uh, although they're not particularly long portages, uh, well, one or two of them, I think, are a bit longer. I didn't want to have to do everything in two trips, you know, to take my canoe and then have to go back to my my gear. So I've got everything in one backpack in my LK35, um, and uh, and I can wear that on my back and carry my canoe. So that's the plan. My paddle's just uh, bungee onto my canoe while I'm carrying it. So I shouldn't have anything extra to carry. Uh, my camera bag is the only other thing, but like, I can just hang that around my neck. So uh, yeah, super lightweight. So almost every twist and turn on the river has one of these defensive gun posts, concrete gun posts, next to the river, left over from the war. I guess they saw this river as a bit of a threat for attack, being as you can get in from the English Channel, and uh, I guess German boats could have got all the way up to Sudbury, you know, which is quite a way inland in East Anglia.
paddle caught. The uh, river's level's a bit high. We've had a lot of rain just the last few days, like three or four days of a lot of rain after um, after no rain for ages. So there's a lot of water in the river where it's just run, run into the rivers. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess where you would have had clearance before, it's sort of like six, seven, eight inches higher. And uh, I got caught up in that tree back there. My paddle got stuck behind me like this and it held me fast. I couldn't get through. Uh, <laughs> all good fun. Really glad to be out on the river. This is great. And it very nearly didn't happen actually. I woke up this morning about half past four um, with my heart going berserk. I was diagnosed two or three years ago with AF, which is atrial fibrillation, which is basically uh, an arrhythmia of the heartbeat. Uh, normally, you know, beats normally most of the time. And then now and again, it just goes into meltdown and it beats. It'll just stop beating for a bit and then it'll beat really hard, really, really, really hard, like my, like my heart's gonna burst out of my chest. And uh, really sort of uncomfortable, takes your breath away, not very nice. And uh, yeah, well I've sort of, it's got worse in recent years and uh, I'd, um, I'd always just assumed it was palpitations due to, the lifestyle I used to lead, too much booze and fags, and sort of ignored it for years and years, and then um, decided finally to go and see the doctor, and that's what he diagnosed me with. Told me I have to quit drinking, which I did. Quit smoking, which I did. So now I'm all clean living. And he put me on a course of, uh, to, well, he gave me tablets that I'm supposed to take as and when I need to, um, which sometimes worked and sometimes didn't. Uh, and now he's put me on the tablets all the time, which has helped a bit, but I still do do get episodes like I did this morning. So I thought I was gonna have to write the trip off, but um, I took one of my tablets and it stopped it. So uh, I was very relieved, very relieved. Okay, so we're coming up to the village of Bures in a minute. I think I'm going to stop soon and have some lunch. It's only early, about half eleven, I think, maybe quarter to twelve. But I'm getting a bit peckish, so I'm going to stop. I've got some soup to make up for lunch. Have a nice cup of tea. Baby swans.
have a nice little place to stop for lunch. It's about the first place we found, to be honest. I was hoping to stop uh, closer to Bures, but um, there just wasn't very much, and the banks were just completely covered in thick nettles, both sides. So we uh, found a little bit here. It'll be perfect. We'll get some lunch on the go. So for my lunch today, I've got one of these Illumi soups. It's Tom Car Guy soup. I have no idea what that is, but it looks tasty. So I'm going to just fold that in half, stick it in my billy with enough water in there for a cup of tea as well. Stick the lid on and stick it straight on the honey stove. Oh, it smells nice. It smells coconutty. Is coconutty. It's quite a thin soup and I'm quite hungry so I'm going to fortify it by crumbling in Ritz crackers. I know. Only got maybe an hour, an hour or so's paddle, I think, until I get to the campsite. So uh, it looks like I'm going to have a bit, a bit of time this afternoon, which is quite nice. To relax, get my camp set up, and uh, yeah, have a shower, make the most of it. Here we are, this is my campsite. We are here. So I've just come out to gather some, uh, some firewood and it's absolutely tipping down. I'm really glad I'm in the trees. They did talk about rain heading in this afternoon, and I think this is it, so I'm glad I'm kind of here and set up, really. I'll, um, I'll just wait for this shower to pass, and then I'll, I'll head back and sort out, my, sort out my firewood and get the kettle on, I think. Well, it's now been raining hard for quite a while. I mean, it's really bucketing down out there. You know what? This little tarp tent is lovely and cosy. I know it hasn't got a door, but do you know what? It doesn't matter. The rain isn't coming in. I've got a beautiful view of the river. I'm dry. What more do you need? So, dinner tonight. We've got another one of these alumi meals. Beef in black bean sauce with instant noodles. Not too bad. In the end I went for the all-in-one pot method.
making a bannock. I brought all the dry ingredients from home in a bag so that I can just add water, mix it in the bag and I haven't got to get all that gloop all over my fingers. So I'm just doing them over the coals on the grill thing that comes with the um, honey stove. Never had it with jam actually. Usually have it with honey. I didn't bring any honey. I bought the jam and said, it's really nice. So today I've paddled from Sudbury here. Down, down, down. There's Bures and along. And we're just around here somewhere. Just in here. Camped tonight. And then part two will be all the way along Nayland, Stratford St Mary, across or under rather the A12, Dedham, uh, Flatford Mill, and then to over here. And I'll get I'll get picked up from a, a little point over at this over 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 here just off the map. So uh, I'm going to turn in shortly, I'm going to get a good early night because um, I want to get up nice and early and be on the water by 7 o'clock at the latest really, so I'm going to have to get up nice and early to pack everything away, have some breakfast and get on my way. Uh, so this marks the end of part one. Uh, part two will be tomorrow's paddle from Nayland, where I am now, to um, Catawade, which is the end of the navigable part of the River Stour. Mm -hmm. So uh, really pleased you could join me for this for this first half of the trip. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, stay tuned for part two. Thanks for watching. Cheers.